Hey, what's up everyone? Mark here with Blue Moo. And today, well, we're diving into something that I know a lot of you have been asking about. Yeah, we're looking at the best laptops for engineering students. Now, if you're an engineering student, you know that you need a machine that can um, handle all those demanding software programs and probably something that won't give up on you during those all-nighters, right? So I've been digging around, testing out a few laptops that um, promise to deliver that perfect balance between performance and, you know, portability, because who wants to carry a brick to class every day? Anyway, I've narrowed it down to some top picks that I think you're going to love. And just a heads up, folks, I've popped all the links to the products we're going to talk about right down in the description so you can easily find them and get all the detailed specs and pricing. All right, let's get into it and find that perfect tech companion for your engineering journey. Keep watching to see which laptops made the cut. All right, so moving on to the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. Um, this one's a bit special, especially for engineering students, right? The first thing you'll notice is the build. It's got this magnesium alloy chassis, which not only gives it a premium look, but also keeps it light and, you know, portable which is super important when you're moving between classes or labs. Now the keyboard is fantastic for typing up those reports or coding sessions that just seem to go on forever. Not to mention the backlighting is really useful for those late night study sessions. Um, performance wise, the G14 is a beast. It's got AMD Ryzen 9 processors and depending on the model, RTX 2060 Max-Q graphics, which is like crazy good for CAD work or any computational simulations you might throw at it. And the best part? Battery life doesn't take a hit. You're looking at over 10 hours of usage, and for a high-performance laptop, that's pretty rare. Usually, you'd be tethered to a power outlet long before that. Now let's talk about thermal performance, because that's where a lot of laptops kind of struggle, especially when you're pushing them hard. The Zephyrus G14 has this intelligent cooling system that kind of um, mixes liquid metal with other cooling techniques to keep things pretty chill. And while you're working on complex projects or maybe even gaming a bit to unwind, you won't get any major performance throttling due to overheating, which is, trust me, a huge plus. So all in all, for engineering students, the Zephyrus G14 is a solid choice. Powerful, portable, and yeah, pretty good looking too. So, you're an engineering student in the market for a laptop, right? And you're probably looking at the Dell XPS 15, so let's talk about that. Now, first things first. The XPS 15 is a powerhouse. Yeah, it's got the latest Intel processors, which is important for all your heavy software, um, whether that's CAD programs or coding environments, plus the high-res display, gorgeous. It's perfect when you're staring at lines of code or detailed designs for hours, um, you won't strain your eyes too much. But then there's the build quality. The thing is built like a tank, which is crucial when you're constantly hauling it to class or the lab. What's even cooler is the carbon fiber interior. Feels nice, right? Doesn't get too cold or hot, stays comfortable. The keyboard, super satisfying to type on, and that's a big deal when you're writing reports or, you know, tapping away at your thesis. Now, battery life, it's decent. Um, you might need to bring your charger if you're pulling an all-nighter, but for the most part, it gets you through the day. Oh, and the ports, plenty of them. So you can hook up all your gadgets, no problem. Overall, the Dell XPS 15 is a solid pick for engineering students. It's, um, it's got the muscle, the display, and the build to sort of just handle everything you throw at it. So when we're talking about the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3, we got to focus on what's really important for engineering students. First things first, performance, right? You're dealing with complex software like CAD, simulation programs, stuff that's really going to push the limits of any system. The ThinkPad P1 packs a punch um, with up to a 10th gen Intel Core i9 or Xeon processor. Yup, I said Xeon, that's workstation territory, and it means you're getting serious horsepower for multitasking and compute heavy tasks. Now let's chat about uh, graphics, because that's key too. The P1 Gen 3 comes with up to NVIDIA Quadro T2000 graphics. That's professional grade, which is like perfect for 3D modeling and rendering. Something you'd be doing a lot as an engineering student, I bet. And um, the 15.6 inch display, 
It's not just big, it's also available with a 4K OLED touchscreen. Yeah, that's crisp, color accurate, so you're seeing your work in the best possible quality. Lastly, the build and portability factor, because, you know, you're not just working from a dorm room all the time. You might need to lug this thing around campus. Fortunately, the ThinkPad P1, it's durable, mill spec tested, so it can take a few knocks, but it's also pretty light for a workstation, starting around 3.75 pounds, which, um, is manageable. The keyboard, classic ThinkPad, comfortable for long coding sessions or writing reports. Battery life could be a bit of a downer, especially if you're using those high-end specs a lot. But hey, that's the trade-off for such power. Overall, definitely a solid pick for an engineering student who needs a reliable, powerful machine. All right, so the HP Spectre X360, right? This is a laptop that's actually been on a lot of people's radars, especially for engineering students. You're looking for something that's both powerful and um, portable, and this laptop, it kind of nails both these aspects. The build quality here is super solid. It's all aluminum, feels premium, and it's got that gem cut design, which I gotta say, does look pretty sleek. Now, performance-wise, let me tell you, this baby doesn't hold back. It's packed with um, Intel's latest processors, and if you opt for like an i7, you'll have no trouble running your simulations and CAD programs, which, let's be honest, can be pretty demanding. Plus, the Spectre X360's got the flexibility of a two-in-one, right? So you can flip it around, use it as a tablet when you're just, um, you know, reading or sketching out some ideas for a project. And the pen it comes with is actually quite responsive, which is a huge plus for taking notes or doing some on-the-fly designing. Battery life, because I know you're going to ask, is pretty decent as well. I mean, you're probably not going to get the whole day with heavy use, like if you're constantly running engineering software, but for general use, it'll last. Just remember that if you're cranking up the brightness on that beautiful 4K display, though, you'll be chewing through the battery a lot faster. So, um, keep a charger handy if you're planning a long session. Overall, the Spectre X360, solid choice for engineering students who need a reliable machine that can keep up with their workload. Hey everyone, Mark here, signing off on this rundown of the best laptops for engineering students. I hope it helped you narrow down your choices, or maybe even find that perfect tech companion to get you through all those late night study sessions and complex projects. Um, if you're looking to check out any of the laptops I mentioned, just dive into the description box below. I've dropped all the links you'll need right there. Easy peasy. And hey, if you've got a question, or if there's something you're curious about with these laptops, don't be shy. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, and I'll try to get back to as many questions as I can. Don't forget to subscribe, too. By hitting that subscribe button, you won't miss out on any of my future tech reviews, which, trust me, you're gonna wanna see especially if you're on the hunt for gadgets that can keep up with your engineering brain power. Oh, and um, while you're here, take a moment to check out some of my other videos. I've covered everything from the latest smartphones to must-have accessories for your dorm room. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. Your support means a ton. This is Mark from Bluemu, helping you tech smarter, not harder. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.